Hey guys, today there's no fancy charts, no nothing. We're just going to talk about a big problem that GM has that they refuse to address. Let's get going. So today we're going to talk about the big elephant in the room that GM does not or they really refuse to discuss. Uh, I'm just going to search through a couple of websites here to gather some information, but um, got a couple of interesting emails over the last couple of days. Uh, from uh, new subscribers and friends and whatnot. Really appreciate all the feedback and all that for the channel, first of all. But, um, you know, we did a, we did an episode where there were, uh, we talked about the lifter issue on the GM vehicles. And we got a lot of good feedback on it. And I'm not going to mention any names and whatnot because I don't know what these people are involved in. So we're just going to keep the information general. But the... Um, you know, one of the big comments we got was, you know, I got this brand new truck and I had X number of miles on it, which wasn't very much. And the thing left me stranded and, you know, GM wouldn't do anything. They didn't have, uh, you know, I couldn't get a rental car and I had to drive, uh, you know, a couple hundred miles out of the way for them, you know, and they spent all kinds of money, you know, not, not acceptable, not acceptable. You know, you buy a new car. And you expect that that car will be problem free, you know, for quite a long time. Okay. And many people, uh, including myself with my wife's car, are pretty fortunate and others aren't. You know, I have a friend uh, has a, a, an SUV. Okay. We'll just leave it there. And, you know, constantly uh, going on to the dealer about it having problems. No, no, no. Excessive oil consumption is the problem. Um, small Equinox. Um, take it to the dealer. No, there's no problem here. Keep moving along. Keep moving along. You know, I remember when I, with my 2010, right? The uh, I had a 2010 uh, 2 LTRS with a V6. Uh, I would go through probably a liter of oil, a liter to a, a quart of oil, every oil change. And according to GM... That was perfectly normal. Well, that's not normal. I'm not a mechanic, first of all, but I've been around cars all my life, okay? That is not normal. And a lot of that might be due to the technology, but or some of that might be due to the technology, but a lot of it is due to GM trying to save money and build stuff as cheap as possible. And sometimes they get lucky, and where... I, you know, like my truck, it's, it's an, it's, it's an older truck. It's an 07, but I love it, right? It's got a lot of miles on it. Still got the original motor and train in it, knock on wood, but you know, not everybody's lucky like that. So let's look up and see GM's, uh, what GM considers to be, uh, not, uh, where is it here? So GM has a kind of a thing where they say okay if your oil if your engine is not using this amount of oil within this amount of kilometers it's normal right so um i think it was uh gm's uh gm engines could it could um uh, if it's within one liter per 1600 kilometers Anything above that is normal. So if you're getting, if you're using one liter of oil for an oil change, in my in, in my example, that was normal. But if you're using a liter of oil every 1,600 kilometers, 900 miles for our friends in the U.S. or less, then there's a problem. That's the benchmark that GM uses for this nonsense. Okay. So my friend, who's a subscriber, um, has been to the dealer many times. You know, gone over this problem, and no, no problem here. Move along, folks. Well, this person's engine just died, and you know because they pushed this problem on for so long, there is no. Uh, now there's been there's so much miles on it. They're like, well, it's just old now. So, you know what? Like this is you know, and we're seeing this in in the smaller Equinox, you know, the two point fours. We're seeing this in you know, mainly in the uh, DFM motors and the AFM motors, in my case, 
where it's got the uh, tuned down to four cylinders, right? Uh, a lot of it is due to lifters, um, you know, in the bigger engines. In the LS3s, we're not seeing so many. I'm not anyway, so I'm not seeing a lot in the LS3s. It's more, again, with the AFM and the DFM motors where we're seeing them fail and in the small motors, you know. The funny thing is in the V6 is the 3.6. Prior to it going to Michigan or the U.S. when they were made in St. Catharines, they, was, they were a good motor. Certainly in the Camaros, they were good motors. But for whatever reason, you put them in a Traverse uh, SUV, they don't last 100,000 miles and they're toast. So, you know, GM really needs to address this. And, you know, if you Google, certainly for this person, for the Equinox, Google it. There's over 4 million searches on Equinox and the 2.4s and class action lawsuits. Certainly on the, on the, uh, on the V8 motors, there's tons of uh, lawsuits going on within the last three, three years. So, you know what? We'd really love to get some feedback on what your experience is, what your experience has been, and you know we want to hear we want to hear what you have to say. Please leave a comment in the in in the in the video. Uh, don't forget, really appreciate all the support. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for bell notification so when we upload a new video, you get it right away. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We really appreciate the support.